Did you know that the race to construct the world's first one-kilometer structure is back in action? Following Saudi Arabia's announcement of resuming construction on the Jeddah Tower, Dubai has also declared the restart of work on their Dubai Creek Tower. However, there's a twist. The developers plan to completely redesign the entire structure. Curious about what has changed and how one goes about building a skyscraper of such colossal height? Stay tuned for today's video, where we've crafted our design to explore and answer these questions. But more details on that later. Background and current progress. Let's delve into the progress of the Dubai Creek Tower. Its journey began in 2016, when it was touted to become the tallest man-made structure globally, surpassing even Dubai's iconic Burj Khalifa. The ambitious plan set the tower's proposed height at a staggering 1,300 meters, making it significantly taller than the Jeddah Tower, standing at just over 1,000 meters. Construction commenced, but in 2020, the global pandemic forced a halt to the project. Imar Properties, the company spearheading the construction, managed to complete the foundational work in just two years. However, the main structure was yet to be initiated. Reports surfaced that Imar was still in search of a contractor for the project, contributing to further delays. The onset of the COVID-19 pandemic led to a complete stoppage of construction activities, fueling speculations that the tower might have been abandoned. As 2020 unfolded, uncertainty loomed over the fate of the Dubai Creek Tower. The temporary cessation of construction left stakeholders and observers unsure about the project's future. The question lingered. Would the tower rise to its intended height, or had it become a casualty of the challenging circumstances surrounding its development? Dubai Creek Harbor The ongoing development around Dubai Creek Harbor appears to be proceeding according to the established plan, bringing life to a new upscale neighborhood in the historic region of Dubai near the creek. The focal point of this emerging neighborhood is undoubtedly the Dubai Creek Tower, serving as a majestic centerpiece that overlooks the harbor, offering splendid views of downtown Dubai and the iconic Burj Khalifa. While the entire development is a work in progress, those curious about the current status can visit Imar Properties' website to glimpse the structures that have already taken shape this year. Venturing towards the northwest side of the tower's future location reveals the existence of Creek Island, an artificial island that already boasts impressive amenities. This includes luxurious hotels, upscale apartments, and inviting restaurants. Notable features on the island encompass a five-star waterfront hotel, an expansive marina catering to yachts, and even a meticulously crafted man-made beach and lagoon. Envisioning the completion of the entire Creek Harbor development unveils a grand vision, twice the size of downtown Dubai. Anticipated to accommodate approximately 200,000 residents and welcome tens of thousands of tourists, the development could potentially transform Dubai Creek Harbor into a prominent hub for business tourism, and luxury living. The realization of this vision may be on the horizon, promising exciting prospects for the city in the realms of commerce, travel, and opulent living. Redesign and construction timeline. After three years of not hearing anything from Imar Properties, they finally said that they were changing the design of the Dubai Creek Tower. This tells us that they haven't given up on the project. The founder of Imar, Mohamed el -Aber, said they picked an international company to do the redesign after a big selection process. He thinks this new design will make the project even more impressive. They plan to finish deciding on the new design by April next year and start building the tower a year later. We're not sure why they suddenly decided to change everything, but some people think it's because the company's leaders and investors weren't happy with the tower being left alone for so long. The founder even said that the tower might not end up being taller than the Burj Khalifa which is different from what he said before about making the project even more impressive. There's some limited info suggesting that Imar Properties is making the whole project smaller, maybe to save money and finish it faster. The founder mentioned they're still figuring things out, and he's not sure if it will be the tallest tower in Dubai. This is kind of surprising because Imar Properties just said their sales went up by 25% in the past year, and they're planning to do more projects and finish thousands of apartments. So, they have the money and resources to stick to the original plan, but it seems like they want to finish the tower faster. Maybe they ran into problems with the first design, or parts of it were too hard to build. After all, making a skyscraper isn't an easy job. So, how do you build one? How do you build a skyscraper? To understand how skyscrapers are designed, we made our version of the Dubai Creek Tower. This is just our idea and not how the real tower will look. 
but it helps us see how designing a tall building works. When you're making a building over one kilometer tall, the most important thing is to make sure it stays stable, especially against strong winds. We used a special foundation, kind of like the Burj Khalifa, that has a unique triangular shape. This shape helps reduce the effects of wind and makes the building more stable. It's like having three strong legs holding up the tower instead of just one. We also made the outside of the tower taper and added notches and setbacks in the middle. This makes sure the lower parts of the tower can support the weight as it goes up and it reduces the wind forces. We even added something called a tuned mass damper to reduce swaying caused by winds. Safety is another big concern. Modern skyscrapers have monitoring systems that keep an eye on things like wind speed, swaying, fire safety, and plumbing. These systems act like a control center for the building, helping fix problems before they become serious. And of course, we thought about how the tower looks. A one kilometer tall structure shouldn't look weird or unsafe. Our design kept the net of steel cables from the original, which gives the tower a unique shape. Even though it's just a support structure, it adds to the overall look. Now, talking about the real Dubai Creek Tower. Final words. Exciting news is on the horizon as plans for resuming construction on the Dubai Creek Tower emerge, slated for the coming year. Anticipation is building globally as the tower is recognized as one of the most captivating skyscrapers currently in development. Adding to the intrigue, the neighboring Jeddah Tower is also gearing up for construction, reigniting the race to achieve the distinction of being the world's first one-kilometer structure. The prospect of these two colossal towers ascending simultaneously is sure to capture the attention of enthusiasts and experts alike. The architectural marvels, each vying for supremacy in height, contribute to the escalating interest in the field of groundbreaking constructions. As we eagerly await the forthcoming developments, we invite your thoughts on our design concept. Is there anything you would alter or enhance? Your feedback is valuable to us, and we encourage you to share your insights in the comments section below. For those intrigued by the Jetta Tower, a video exploring its details is available for your viewing. We appreciate your continued interest and support. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more updates as we delve into the exciting world of architectural marvels. Until next time.